Have you ever wondered why airplanes don't fly over the Pacific Ocean? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Now before we delve deeper, let's acknowledge the sheer vastness of this body of water. The Pacific Ocean, a vast expanse of blue, is the largest and deepest ocean on our planet. It's so big, in fact, that it's larger than all the Earth's landmass combined. Now, there's a common misconception that airplanes never cross the Pacific. That's not entirely true. They do, but not always directly over the middle. After all, the Pacific isn't just a giant pool of water. It's studded with islands, and there are plenty of flight routes that crisscross this ocean. However, you might have noticed that not all flights, particularly those between certain destinations, take the over the ocean route. So, why might this be? Now, let's dive into the reasons why airplanes might avoid flying directly over the Pacific Ocean. The first reason involves something called the Great Circle Route. You see, our planet is a sphere. Well, an oblate spheroid to be precise. When you're dealing with a sphere, the shortest distance between two points isn't a straight line. It's a curve, specifically an arc of a great circle. Here's where the Great Circle Route comes into play. This route represents the shortest possible distance between two points on the surface of a sphere. Pilots use this principle to chart the most efficient and fuel-saving path for their flights. Now you might be thinking, why does this mean planes fly more over land? Well, when you plot these arcs on a map, they often lead planes to fly more over continents than open ocean. So while it might seem like the plane is avoiding the ocean, it's actually taking the quickest route. Another reason airplanes might avoid the Pacific Ocean relates to safety. Safety, as we all know, is a top priority in aviation, and there are specific regulations in place to ensure this. One such rule is known as ETOPS, or Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards. This standard limits the distance that certain airplanes, particularly those with only two engines, can fly from an emergency landing site. Now picture the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. With this in mind, it becomes clear that the lack of suitable emergency landing sites over the ocean can greatly influence flight paths. Airplanes need to have a plan B at all times, and in the middle of the Pacific, plan B options are few and far between. So, it's not that airplanes can't fly over the Pacific, but rather that they choose the safest and most efficient routes. So to recap, why don't airplanes fly over the Pacific Ocean? It's not that they don't, it's more about choosing the safest and most efficient path. The Great Circle route, coupled with safety precautions, play a vital role. Next time you're on a flight, you'll know a bit more about the route your pilot is taking.